Welcome back. Well, uh, Asian markets have been largely holding up positive thanks to the uh, excitement around China. Uh, there you go, implied openers are suggesting that we'll start maybe 20 points higher. Right now, it's time to boil it down to stocks, and our team is standing by with the CNBC TV 18 list of top stocks to watch. Guys, hi, morning to all of you. Let's start first with the news coming in on Sinjin. Abhishek, what are you picking up? Uh, well, sources tell CNBC TV 18 that there is a book uh, which has been launched in Sinjin, which is a block. Uh, so the uh, seller is Biocon Limited. Uh, indicative price is about 8.25 per share, which is at a discount of 5.7 percent to yesterday's closing price. Now the offer size is about 2 percent of the equity, or in quantum, it is about 660 crores. So for residual stake, uh, there is a lockup of 60 days post this stake sale uh, that the uh, you know seller cannot stake uh, the seller cannot sell their stake. The sole BRLM is Kotak Securities. Uh, Biocon's holding post this stake sale will be about 52.5% uh, uh, in the company. Back to you. Right, Abhishek. Thanks a lot uh, for that. Well, let's hop across to Vinny, who's here to tell us about Metropolis. Hi, Vinny. Morning. Looks like a rather good acquisition they've made. Absolutely. A good acquisition coming in for Metropolis. Now, uh, they have acquired 100% stake in Core Diagnostics. Total consideration is going to be 247 uh, crores approximately. 45% is going to be through Equity Swap and 55% they will be paying and funded by cash. Uh, now, do not forget, 60 days is what is the time period they will be completing this transaction in. Why is it positive? Because this gives them a lot of synergies. One, in terms of uh, financials, it is going to be EPS accretive starting from the first year itself, FY26. Return ratio, so return on capital employed, return on equity. Yes, marginally in FY26, that may see a fall. FY27 will come to those metropolis healthcare levels, the combined entity. And then in FY28, it will start become accretive from those years for return on capital employed as well as return on equity. Even in terms of operating metrics, if you look at that as well, Core Diagnostics uh, operates at around an average revenue per test of around 2,300 rupees per share, which is for uh, 2,300 rupees per test, which is four times higher than Metropolis. So keeping an eye out on their volumes are quite high. They are in the north and east regions. So that gives synergy to uh, overall in terms for Metropolis in that region. Uh, they specialize in oncology tests as well. So drug tests, uh, cancer drug tests as well as you know for cancer patients the tests are quite high and that gives a lot of opportunity to metropolis healthcare and that is why a big positive there and expecting green here take that point specialty contribution of 85 percent versus metropolis's own 37 percent is something that will increase their overall value mix as well let's go across to vivek now vivek irb infra and bel both you're watching today Good morning, that's right. So IRB Infra, you know, the company has given the operational update as far as toll collections are concerned for the company as well as the private invit that the company has. So as far as the month of November is concerned, total collections is up almost 23% on a year-on-year -year basis at 536 crore. Along with that, the company has also given a positive commentary as far as the month of December is concerned. They expect the upward trajectory as far as toll collections are concerned to continue. They expect uh, uh, toll as well as traffic to increase driven by your in festive as well as holiday season traffic traffic that they're anticipating. Now coming to Bharat Electronics, some strong order wins coming in over there. Fresh orders worth almost 630 crore rupees. Uh, major orders include the maintenance of the Akash missile system and a whole host of other orders too that has come in. Now remember FY25 order inflow as far as Bharat Electronics is concerned is over 8,800 crores. So expecting a green on both of these stocks today. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, Vivek. Well, I'm keeping an eye on GSW Steel and as I mentioned earlier, in most of the steel companies because there is that hope that the government will come up with some action to protect them from all the dumping that we've seen of imports coming in from China, steel imports into India. But for today, we're looking at it because their November crude production numbers came in and not too bad. You know, production number up by close to around 5%, so that's pretty good. They're also saying the capacity utilization levels for the India business was at around 94%. So the street will like that, and they'll also pin their hopes to hear in from the government with regard to that protection. So going with green on JSW Steel. Let's hop across to Yash. He's here to tell us about the insurance companies because the monthly business updates have started coming in. Yash, take it away. Well, Nigel, let's start with the stronger side. Uh, very, very strong growth coming in for ICICI Prudential Life Insurance. And interestingly, uh, that uh, strong growth comes over a favorable base. November premium was up 1.5 times. Uh, the total annualized premium equivalent in the month of November was up 2.7 times. And retail AP, that saw a growth of about 28%. Max Life Insurance also saw strong numbers. That was on a decent base, which it had. November premium growing at 21%, total APE at 25%, retail APE at 
Now the weakness overpowers the strength here. Uh, three companies with weak numbers. The first one, LIC, the weak growth has come on a favorable base. November uh, premium has uh, dropped by about 27%. SPI Life Insurance, weak growth again on a favorable base. November premium just growing at about 8%. And finally, HDFC Life, weak growth on a favorable base. Again, November premium just growing at about 13%. Okay, all right. We'll watch out for all of these insurance stocks. Yash, thank you very much for that. Let's quickly recap uh, the list for this morning. Stocks that have positive news flow around them are Sinjin, JSW Steel, Metropolis Healthcare, IRB Infra, BEL, Max Financial Services, as well as ICICI Prudential Life. Let's get them up. Yeah, there you go. So that's the list of positive stocks. The ones that have negative news flow, HDFC Life, SBI Life, and LIC. A short break, come back. On the other side, we will connect with Hemang Jani for some fundamental stock talk and analysis. Stay tuned.